Hey YouTube, it's me Spotty. Today we've got an unboxing from speedcube.com.au. So we should have the standard edition of the Gans Air and a budget 4x4 from Shengxiao, the Shengxiao 4x4 legend. So let's just set aside the Gans Air. I'm actually really excited for that one. And let's get into the 4x4 first. So this 4x4 is a budget one from Shengxiao, as I said before. It comes in at only $10 Australian, which is really, really affordable. But let's see if it's any good with some first turns. Wow, this is actually a lot better than I expected. I was expecting something a lot more brittle, a lot more hard. Um, it's a little bit blocky and the plastic isn't as soft as something like a Wukwe. But the turning itself is really quite nice. So it is a bit slippery and I am experiencing some lockups. But the lockups and catches that I am experiencing are also subsiding after some turning. So I'm sure this will only get better after some breaking in. And as an entry level 4x4, this is actually really, really decent. So yeah, this is the Shengxiao 4x4 Legend. Let's move on to the Gant Air. You actually get some pretty cool stuff with this. You get this box, you get some stickers, a tensioning tool, logos, and a pamphlet that nobody really reads. But moving on to what actually matters, the cube, let's get into some first turns. All right, so it's kind of what I expected. It's a little bit dry, but it's very buttery smooth, and it's quite a bit lighter than what I'm used to, but it doesn't feel cheap, and so it shouldn't. But hey, you probably already knew that this isn't a new cube by any means, so I'm not going to bore you with the feel, the turning, anything like that. But let's move on to my second first impressions of the 4x4. So it's almost a week after the first part of the video was shot, but we're here now, so let's talk about the 4x4. There are really three main things that I want to say. Number one is that I still think that the feel is more pleasant than the other budget puzzle, the Guansu, that I own. Budget 4x4, that is. The feeling is a little less blocky, and the plastic is softer, which I kind of like. Number two is that the speed throughout both layers are really, really nice, and I haven't had any troubles with them misaligning or not turning when I don't want them to. They're really nice speeds, they're controllable, and yeah, the speed is good. And the third thing, which is kind of the most important thing that I want to say about this puzzle, is that there are some locks and catches that you can experience in solves. There are no problems with any huge lockups where the cube kind of deforms, but there are some small internal catches that happen, not super often, but a couple times throughout your solve, which is kind of annoying. Um, I've only done about 50 solves so far, so I'm not sure whether this problem will diminish as it's broken in more or as I get used to the puzzle, but right now it's a small annoyance, a small problem. In saying that though, my times are still what I would normally get on my main, so there's nothing that will drastically affect your times, I don't think. So overall, so far, I am really liking this puzzle. I am getting my normal times, which is good. Um, the performance isn't super amazing, but it's good for a budget puzzle, and I am liking it more than my Guansu, although I never really liked that puzzle, so you might want to take that into consideration. But yeah, that's all I've got to say on the Gans Air and the Shengxiao 4x4 Legend. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Other than that though, thank you to speedcube.com.au for sending these puzzles out for me to test. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.